British show mounts on Tunubu to back Oseban job for 2023. Brother, this 2023 matter, where we don't they talk, they come like this. Just like exactly the same way we don't talk about uh, in, uh, before that 2019 World War election, what they do. This is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Now, then tell us, see. Nah, this man I won't be for the Southwest. All at Tunubu. To lead on the change. For Kiddy don't see and last time when they talk, see. Ose Banjo just lay low. See now nah, when election on the wish, ladies and gentlemen, now nah, according to the news, where would they give on a right here? News they tell us say Ose Banjo lay low if in they are life. Say when that 2023 time don't reach now him, that time Ose Banjo will come tell the Bola Tunubu, aka Jagaban of the Lagos State, who in be say in now the second person in Nigeria, and which is true, very, very true. Nobody did that and say Ose Banjo, if you dare life now, you'll be the second person, and now you supposed to lead that nation today, but due to your a, a, a compromise due to your corruption, deadly corruption. You know, if we achieve that presidency, because your corruption have been ringing bell everywhere, on and off. Every time, I say banjo corruption. I did talk another two point sixty seven trillion. I did look for when they don't know who carry them. The same feeding money when they tell us school feeding money. <laughs> 2.67 trillion under the same criminals. Now, they, this news pop out this morning. They tell us, say, pressure mounts on Bola Ahmed to Nubu to back a Seban job for 2023. All right. And one do twenty twenty three. Now, what do Some people come and say, now, what do do what? Then want. Now, the organizing Debo and then Debo in general, some people will love this criminal one Nigeria of a team, uh, the business one Nigeria of a team. Uh -huh. So, some of them, the chance say, no, na Ibo's extraction. Many world leaders, even many leaders in that country, when be Nigeria, tell them say, if we want peace, make we give this thing to Ibo's extraction. Say it will make a lot of changes for them when they Nigeria there. A lot of people tell us, look, Ibo people na they are torn. Yoruba don't rule before. They not don't rule many many times. Now make gonna give Igbo people chance to rule because the Nigeria not be for only one tribe. Election when did they do not be do or die. To be a leader not to come kill your people or to come rob your people or come loot the whole treasury. To be a leader, not be by force, not be war. So, the reason why they narrate all these things that because of so many, many agitations, so many many agitations going on in Nigeria. Although agitations they come before and they die, they go. Agitation will come, it go die, go. Agitation will come, it go die, go. But uh, the way when this one now they move. Or they go and they push forward, they go in this 2023. Before Dudu will not come out. Why Dudu will come out now? They see say that they marginalize them. They see say APC fail. They see say PDP fail. They see say they not get any hope from any political party when we lead them to the destination where they want. They see say if they begin to follow this northern as they are gone. The same to the EPO people, when be the IPOB people. So, ladies and gentlemen, now the Ibo's extraction, then see, not their time to get this presidency. Otherwise, they will join Masi Nandekanon. Again, FG, APC, and PDP, they continue to play deaf ear. Like, see, they're not here within the organization. Talk. 
Although maybe they self not trust the Ohanes and Digbo. Maybe they know who Ohanes and Digbo be. Maybe at the end of the day, the Ohanes and Digbo. And everybody went talk so oh, if FG not give us presidency from Igbo's extraction, say, oh, we go join IPOP. Maybe these people know who they are already because they are all greedy men and women. When they sell their people, they sell their birthright, they sell their rights to all these criminal elements. Now, all these things they pile up. IPOB did there. The issue of Boko Haram and Hesmin, all these things they did there under APC. And this thing want to come out. Bolatunbu want to come out. When we say now, then they rule. Oh, Sebanjo want to come out on top of this whole corruption allegations. I don't just get the democracy. That is why they tell me, see, I don't know whether whether they call anything democracy in, the, in this world. Personally, that is, that is my view now because I know they say anything democracy. Nobody is happy with the way when FG, federal government and governors, they use our head. Thinking, say, we will continue to be their mumu forever. No. Now it is battle between this guy and his brother. Una no say they're not deal. Una no say Ose Banjo and Bola Tunubu. They are not good according together. They are not good together. They are not good together because we don't see a lot of things when come to Ose Banjo when this jagaman not back Ose Banjo. Not come and come talk nothing. Even when it comes in terms of uh, Jagaban to defend himself, or say Banjo, they come, they follow him, they defend himself. But at the end of the day, people now, they tell us now, see, pressure don't mount on Bola Tunubu to back or say Banjo for 2023. When we see even Bola Tunubu himself he have the ambition to become the president of Nigeria, 99% of the news will they see every day. Now, Bola Tunubu, they tell us, see, nine won't come out. Now, it can't be like, see, to really don't change. That is what I tell them. I say before, then again, news one come out. They tell us, say, I say, Banjo just lay low. See, he must to disgrace Bola Ahmed Dunobu. Before we go into the readings, ladies and gentlemen, I say, make all that they subscribe to our own channel. Make all make sure so that they subscribe because not only here, all go they get the right news. Not be news where they don't miss with anything. No, our own as they come, that's so they drop them. Again, for those of you who don't subscribe, I say thank you all very, very much. I don't hear you. see the whole katakata when they on ground. Even middle belt now, I don't see no, we not be our people again. We not be full of We not don't call us not. We are not not. We are not from the not. So all these things combined together. These people, they still gather their mind to talk about 2023. Till today, the man when I tell us say na him be on a president, not come and come address none of these issues. He did the same money, he did the same bill according to them. Everything now, why you ladies and gentlemen? Buhari don't send bill, Buhari send, they don't sign, they won't sign this one. He sent them to Senate, he make this, he make that. All is ooh. We will not deceive us again. Buhari is not there. These people, they are deceiving their own self. Not Nigerian people. Not me. Not you. There is no Buhari there. Ahead of the 2023 presidential election, some power brokers, according to them, in all ruling Progressive Congress, APC are already mounting pressure on Ashawa Jubola Tunubu, national leader of the party, to bury his rumor presidential ambition in 2023 and queue behind Vice President Yami Osebanjo. Ladies and gentlemen, APC won't con use uh, Vice President Yami Osebanjo can't deceive on again. No. Nothing is going to happen. I don't tell him whether now Osebanjo. When I saw Ajubala Tunubu, or say Banjo they there as VP when the country they rotten. I saw what you they there when the country they rotten for their hands. Or say Banjo they there. They 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 bend down for the cabas 
Now the same man wanna look. Ose Banjo and Buhari, no difference, ladies and gentlemen. APC want to bring in Ose Banjo to come and deceive 200 million Nigerian people again. Ose Banjo scandal. There is no government officers when corrupt. Which Ose Banjo with the new when they emanate from Nigeria. Where they tell us Ose Banjo now they do all this. Is. And he never fit can deny none of them. All those money he talks in a uh, school feeding money. Now money when they tip for election. Now everything done they come out. Then they tell Tinubu now can bow out for for from his uh, uh, presidential ambition to support uh, yeah, me or Sebanjo, but people they tell Yoruba people, people don't tell APC, even this Balatunubu, even the Yemi Osebanjo himself. When they say Igbo people they marginalize, people they tell them say make them go support any Igbo presidential candidate. Make them bring out Igbo presidential candidates in all the whole political party in Nigeria. That an Igbo man can become. These people they say no. With the condition when we say Nobody even trusts them anymore. They want to see come back in 2023. And not just understand how this thing go happen. How they go allow a, a corrupt VIP to come contest in 2023. All of them corrupt. That is why we don't have trust in these people. We cannot trust our life to these people anymore. Never. Never then go roast your life for you. They continue on big wings. They tell Bola Tunubu, make him forget his ambition. Congo support. Even though Tunubu is yet to declare whether he will run in 2023 or not, a lot of his supporters believe he is very much interested in the race and he silenced his bone out of his desire not to. Distract the government of President Muhammad Buhari, who is yet to mark two years of his second term in office. However, some of his supporters have been launching several groups, both at home and in the diaspora, to rally support for the ambition, saying it is non negotiable. Everything is non negotiable. IPOB is non negotiable. Biafra is non negotiable. Odudua is not negotiable. Revolution now is not negotiable. So that word one that they use for us, eh? We don't see see all na na just to distract us. IPOB is not negotiable. Biafra is not negotiable. Odudua is not negotiable. But presidency is negotiable. Asha Wajubola Tunubu ambition is negotiable. Or say banjo is negotiable. His ambition is negotiable. So the only the only things will be non-negotiable now the Biafra and the Odudua. The rest things are negotiable. What are you telling me? Also, some prominent Nigerians have also been conversing support for Tunubu's presidential ambition, saying he is the best man to succeed President Muhammad Buhari after going scot free with. Three bullion van loaded with hard and harsh currencies. After looting three bullion van loaded with the hard and harsh currencies, now he make Tunubu qualify to be a president because he's a criminal, because he's a looter. Our people regard looters as. They are gods. Our people, Nigerian people, they praise criminal for one night politicians. Now be their role models. So they don't talk now. They tell you see now be their best because they carry three bullion van and nobody is questioning him today. They include Babache Lawa, another criminal hmm? a former secretary to the government of the federation Elder statesman tanko yakasi another criminal from the north make us see when they back balatunubu all these people are the kabas when they tell them when we not hear their names but long time we know see babache 
na one of the cabals because even though see Baba Che loot trillions, he's still there inside that sorok till tomorrow. He's still there till tomorrow. So now them they back Bola Tunubu, okay? Tanko Yakasi, Senator Abdullahi, Fatah Buhari, Chief Henry Ajumole, and several others. Our source gathered that prominent leaders of APC have resolved to zone the position of national chairman to the north why the presidency will be zoned to the south with many of them agreeing in principle that it will be unfair for the north to retain the position after president muhammad Buhari have must have completed his eight years they continue it was also learned many of the party leaders especially in the northern block of the country are favorably disposed to Osibanjo taking over from Buhari based on his loyalty, commitment and deep knowledge of the programs of the government, especially rating the management of the economy according to a credible source in the party. There is no doubt Ashawaju is interested in the 2023 presidential race. He has always right to do so and he is very qualified based on his record as a former senator governor of Lagos state for eight years and what he has been able to achieve nationally even after leaving office the only thing when bola tunubu achieved nationally not to loot everything what we get loot everything what we get nine be bola tunubu's achievements that's all Nine Bola Tunubu's legacy. That's all. So um the issue of this uh, presidency, 2023 presidency, this and that, Bola Tunubu, uh, the Ibu, the Oduluwa, the Biafra, the insecurity. 23. I don't know how a government then go do like see they're not here uh, anything. They're not they solve no problem. They are all not to just loot, loot, loot. Uh, I must grab this power. I don't tell them nothing like democracy is money and power, not in the drag. Because these people, these people, they not get any plan for any Nigerian person. They not get any plan for Nigeria. They not get any plan for nobody. They not get no, no idea, no experience, no, no wisdom, no knowledge to do nothing. 